With Cao Cao's generals in pursuit, Liu Bei made his escape to Xianling. Following that, Cao Cao suffered a crushing defeat to Liu Bei and Sun Quan at Qi Bi and brought the conquest to a halt. In the meantime, Liu Bei took Wu province, thrusting the nation into the age of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu. Rumors that Cao Cao, now a chancellor, was vying for the throne caused tumult throughout the land. Also, as if meaning to take advantage of such domestic troubles, Sun Quan came to assault Hei Feng. Zha Ho Dun rode his horse toward the battlefield to put an end to this enemy. Master Zha Ho Dun, you know what our lord truly plans? Hmm? The rumors about the emperor? Exactly. Firstly, what does he think of this? Is this even what he wants to have happen? Who can say? I have known him for ages, and even I cannot say what he is thinking most times. And yet, whether he accepts the throne or not, I believe that he will remain himself. He won't change. That is why we too must not change. As commanding officers will fulfill our duties. The enemy will bring its main force against us. Your duty is to stop them. Indeed it is. I can see why our lord has kept you by his side so long. I 
I shall fight. Yeah. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Back off. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. Is this the end? Another victim has fallen to my blade. Another victim has fallen to my blade. I must retreat. Suppose I wasn't ready to face this particular trial. This base belongs to me now. 
space belongs to me now. True to your reputation, such a display will boost the morale of our troops. I guess you will go for an opponent. Um, these guys are kind of strong. Thanks for coming to help me. I don't mind. Only two great generals remain. Cao Cao, who had subjugated most of China, and Liu Bei, who persistently obstructed Cao Cao's conquest from his base in the land of Shu. In the back of everyone's mind was the thought that this would be the time to decide the victory. The rumors about Cao Cao's aspirations to the throne stopped when the man himself denied them. Cao Cao fought not to attain the station of emperor, but for something else. Supporting the emperor was Zhang Hedun's duty as an officer. With his head full of emotion, he proceeded to the final battlefield. Even the feared one-eyed general is but a child before me. It is your turn, Shaodu. Go. I have no chance of winning against your cunning. I have heard that you refused the throne. I've grown tired of all this waiting. Tell me, cousin, what is this world that you envision? A land where people of talent and vision can change the world. A land where neither emperor nor lord is needed. You've answered my question. Knowing you, I should have expected it was something like that. <laughs> At last, the light that shines upon this lone eye has taken a form that I understand. Give me time, cousin. I shall bring an end to all of this fighting. All of your dreams are destined to come true! <laughs> 